Hi, welcome to Deus Ex Mankind Divided. We're doing All in the Family. We're going to grab the key card and check out the control room. If you just are looking for the control room and don't really care about the video, go to Apartment 95 and push a button near the ebook. Uh, if you want more details, stick around. Anyway, this chap here has the key card. Um, he is, uh, not him, but the other guy walking around. If you wait long enough, these two will beat themselves up. It's really hard to mug that guy without getting busted. So what you want to do is take this guy out after he's beaten up his friend, chuck the body away as soon as you get a suspicion from that chap who will now come to investigate. And you can take him out safely away from everyone else. Chucking stuff and other things won't work. And if you take him out while the other guy can see, it'll cause panic. So that's the way to do that safely. Then you can pop around here, activate a biocell, throw up ghost and wander down here. Now I did it a bit stupidly by walking too quickly and the guy heard me. So now he's suspicious and I had to use ghost for longer than I needed to and blew a biocell. But there you can use the keycard reader to get in that way. There's a few other ways to get in. Um, some of them are markedly better. There's a manhole. You can go over the roofs off the top of the Red Queen. Um, and you can climb up a ladder which takes you directly into the Diwali safe house. And we're going to look at that when we go for the control room because it leaves us really nearby. But if you do choose to go in that way, uh, that's the way to do it using the key card. Anyway, run past those guys. Uh, they will get bored eventually. And head up here. You can hack this keypad if you like. A uh, little bit of experience there for you. Um, and then there's a couple more or one more keypad on the inside on the right on a garage that you can milk for a bit more experience. Um, yeah, so when you jump over or open that gate, there's the other one there. The manhole is in this square as well if you want to pop down there, but there's some gas. Um, check my other video uh, for information on that. But climb up on top of the ladder, you'll find, uh, to climb up onto the garage, you'll find a ladder around to the left and head into this room here. Uh, there's a bunch of credit chips and other bits and pieces you can get. Uh, then open this door, there's two guys talking. If you've got multiple takedowns, you can pop up here. Wait for them to move uh, before you go for the multiple takedown. When they're standing like that, you can't get it there too far away. But stand here, and as soon as the guy on the left starts moving, boop, multiple takedowns. So there we go. Now, heading outside, I'm going to skip uh, scanning this room. It's always good to hide the bodies, though. But always pick around. Uh, Magpie is one of the best pickups you can get. But head out here to the left. Don't uh, rush too quickly because there's a camera there and there's another one up here. Sorry, that's what I meant. Be careful of that one. Uh, wait for that to look the other way and then we're going to pop up. Now, in the room immediately on the right is uh, the code for this door here is 0666. Um, and I'll show you how to get that quickly as well. Um, but that door just on the right that we've gone past is where the control room is. In apartment 96, if you head in here, don't forget to shut the door for the camera. Uh, you can mug this guy out. Don't do it when you're standing behind there. He'll get stuck in the window. Instead, do it in here. Uh, there's also a lady asleep on the sofa. And to get her, you'll need a trank rifle or a stun gun. Uh, you can see here if you walk up to her, she's asleep and there's no way to take her down easily, unfortunately. So what you want to do is jump up here where she can't see you. Uh, and then shoot her with the Trank Rifle from there and you'll maintain your Ghost and Smooth Operator bonuses. And then you can pick that room apart really freely, but if you just wanted the keycard you can get out. And in fact now I've told you what the code is, you can just use that if you prefer. Anyway, open the door, don't forget the camera, be in hiding, I just use Ghost to get past it or you can wait for it to move if you don't have Ghost. You can use the code there if you like, otherwise hack the door. Pretty straightforward hack. Um, and then in through here. Now out on the balcony is a pocket secretary with a code to the security system if you don't want to hack that or don't have any multi-tools left. There's a computer there you can hack and then over by the ebook by the television here uh, drop down and look up and you'll see a button there which opens a door behind you which leads into the control room there. Don't miss the sniper rifle up there uh, which I completely did. And uh, there's the computer which you can hack and disable the three cameras and the alarm panel around the base, allowing you to explore freely. On the left, uh, if you'd like it, is the full exploration of All in the Family, along with a Praxis kit from the theatre, and then we'll take out the theatre entirely stealth afterwards, leaving Raditz alive. On the right, the mission Fade to Black, that's side mission, I want to say nine, but it could be seven or six. Six. Fade to Black, I think, is six. All in the Family is nine. Anyway, that's it for now. See you in the next video. Bye!